Hi. Just a sec. Okay, so this video, I'm going to show you how to do a bow hold using the double pencil bow. Now I've got the camera set to where you can kind of see me doing this in kind of playing position with the focus on my bow hand. So my apologies, but from here on out, my head's gonna be cut off. So by this point in time, I've already uh, kind of distributed the students to pencil bows and they kind of have that at hand. I may tell them before class to kind of make sure that they have them out of their uh, cases and near their seats. So now we'll start things off the way we always start things off, checking postures. Of course, my cello players are seated right now, so I, I make sure that they're in the front half of their chair, feet flat on the floor, that whole business. And then what I tell them to do is I tell the students to wave at me with their right hand. And that's important because not all of our kiddos know their left from their right at this point. And the last thing they want is to learn this in the incorrect hand and then have to fix it later down the road. So I just say wave at me with your right hand and I double check. And then once they do that, I tell, I tell my cello players to just kind of flop it, just kind of shake it out, and then to just let those fingers dangle. Right, And I kind of pause here and I say, now, believe it or not, by the time we're finished with our bow hole cello players, this is more or less what it's going to look like for you. So then I tell them to take their pencil bows and pick them up with their left hand, so the hand they didn't just flop, and I want them to hold their pencil bows straight up, and I notice that I'm holding it by kind of the, the, the unsharpened end of the pencil with the eraser pointed up. So I tell them to hold their pencil bows with the eraser pointed up. Their right hand is all floppy. And now what I tell them to do is take those erasers and point them towards that hand of theirs. Okay, and so now what, what I want them to notice is I want them to notice the two sets of rubber bands. There's a set of rubber bands that's near the erasers and then there's a set of rubber band that's farther away from the erasers. What I want them to do is to take their hand and between their two longest fingers, right, I tell them their two longest fingers here, I want them to flop those down the side of the pencil kind of on either side of that rubber band closest to the eraser. Okay, so you can kind of peek through that little hole, through, through that little slit there and see that there's that, that, there, there's that rubber band there, okay? And then I want them to hit the, their, their other fingers and just kind of let them dangle, okay? Just kind of flop down the side of the stick. Their pinky, I want them to rest it in that little space between the two rubber bands. And then the thumb, I'm going to turn it around so you can see it on the camera. But the thumb, I want them to take that thumb. I have them wiggle the thumb to make sure it's nice and relaxed. And they're going to rest that thumb on the inside of that rubber band near, or it, it uh, on the inside of the rubber band in between the two pencils, kind of like the pinky is on the up opposite side. And as I've done this, one of the things I'm looking for is that their, that their knuckle is nice and curved here. Okay, and actually, believe it, believe it or not, this is actually done. This is their bow hold. Now that's important because for our violin and viola students who are generally in the same class, I kind of do one half for the violin viola bow hold, one half for the cello bow hold. I, I kind of use this as a moment to kind of tell the cellos to celebrate because constructing their bow hold is much simpler than it is for violin and viola. So this is about, uh, so this is about what the bow hold should look like. And I'll, what I'll do now is I'll show you a few pictures of, of the bow hold from different angles so you can kind of get a sense of what everything uh, should look like here. But a couple of things I want you to notice is that I have made sure that I'm using things like floppy hand. I tell them to dangle it down the side of the stick, right? And, and I tell them to have their fingers rest. I'm purposely using words that imply looseness or relaxation. And what I do is, is I go around and I actually make sure that, that their hands are relaxed. One of my telltale signs is if I can come and tug on that thumb and it releases easily from the pencil, then that's a good sign that the thumb is relaxed. If it's kind of stiff and hard, that means that, that it's kind of, it's really tense, okay? So because things are so relaxed, notice how I have this nice curvature. Notice how the three long fingers, the index finger, the middle, and the ring finger, all dangle down past the pencils. And the pinky just kind of chills out sitting here between the pencils like so. And that is the construction of the pencil bow hold for cello.